Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. Thank you for being here, I really appreciate you guys. Um, appreciate all your support, all the likes, the thumbs up, the comments, all the things. Thank you very much. And thank those that come over to Patreon. All the links are in the description, Patreon, Amazon storefront, support the channel. Thank you very much. I'm very, very blessed by you guys. This video is about um, footwear care or taking care of your boots. More boots, it's boot related. Um, we got to take care of our footwear, right? Because our footwear takes care of us. Good, high quality footwear. Um, but what are some of the things we want to do to protect them? We got to take care of them, keep them clean, don't beat them up, you know, take care of them, um, wash or brush them off, keep them clean, stuff like that. Maintenance. So, what am I going to talk about today? So, um, for my Oboe's Bridger boots, I'll show you here. I just used some of this. I'll show you right here. Conditioning oil, Kiwi conditioning oil, nourishes and waterproofs smooth leather. Um, and it just, it's got a little thing here on the side. You turn that, open it up, and you got this. So, what you do is you just get a rag like this. See right here where I was putting my fingers on? And what I do is I just put my two fingers in the middle like that, and then I kind of wrap it and I spin it. And this is what I, I learned this in the military lots of times polishing boots, right? And then what I do is I wrap it around my hand, and then I grab it with my thumb, like that. And then I wrap it like that. So you get a nice tight um, thing. And then what you do is you just, you know, rub it in there, and then grab the boot, and rub it in. Um, very simple, I did, already did this boot. So I'll show you, um, I don't really have a before, but the color is, it makes it a little bit darker, yes. But it's soaking in right now, I gotta wait, you know, 24 hours before I wear these again. Um, with rub-in stuff like that, you don't necessarily have to wait, but you know, I have other footwear, so I like doing that, and make sure you take the, t what I do is I take the laces out, I'll show you in another pair of boots, and make sure you get all inside, um, around there, and this is per, per, this is for leather, for leather boots. Um, other boots, you can waterproof them using stuff like this, uh, and this is just stuff I picked up at Walmart last night, it's not high-end, um, I have other stuff, I just couldn't find it right now in a box somewhere, it's Kiwi Camp Dry, heavy duty water repellent. Um, and it says uh, silicone bonds to leather or fabric to create an extremely tough water barrier while still allowing article to breathe. Ideal for tents, tarps, boots, hunting apparel, outdoor gear, boat covers, patio furniture. Odorless when thoroughly dried and cured. It takes 20, 24 to 48 hours to dry. So what I do is um, actually here, just one sec. Okay, so these. My Vasque um, boots, my Vasque, I think they're Talus or something like that. I forget which, which boots these are. Uh, and they're in the Amazon storefront. They're awesome boots. Love them. They're one of my favorite boots. Um, not for super cold weather, but they do well in cold weather also. Um, these aren't snow boots, though. Um, they're more like a hiking shoe. Really good quality boots. And they are leather also. I could have used that stuff, but I use this stuff on them. So they are sitting there, and they're going to cure for about two days. Actually, in a couple hours, I'm going to put another coat on, maybe put a couple coats. And, yeah, they're waterproof anyway. There was nothing wrong with them. They weren't leaking or anything like that. But I like doing this every once in a while just to keep up on stuff. So I will show you now another pair of boots that I used um, uh, this stuff on, taking care of them, right? Good quality. You see right there, Georgia boots. Georgia boots, these boots will last a lifetime if you take care of them. Um, you can replace the soles and everything, but good quality boots. These are a good quality work boot. Um, they're Thinsulite, um, 200 grams of Thinsulite, and they're also um, Gore-Tex. They're also, you know, waterproof. But taking care of the leather, as you can see, you got a nice coat on there right now. It looks really nice and pretty. Um, make sure before you do this, though, that you clean them off really good, brush them off really good, wipe them down, let them dry thoroughly, then apply the stuff. And like I was talking about, you down in here, see? Deep down inside that seam, you want to make sure you get all inside here, all inside there. And this is a good time to take out your uh, insoles, clean inside your boot really well. Um, maybe wash your insoles and, and or buy new insoles every time you do this. Um, do this like maybe once or twice a year. Uh, once a year would probably be fine. But um, yeah, take care of your footwear because they take care of you. This stuff's really good. Um, so yeah, the... Uh, um, Keep your feet warm and dry. This is and this is part of the dry part. Um, the warm part is you know uh, uh, accomplished. Sorry, accomplished by good quality socks, merino wool socks I love, or just any wool sock. Good high quality sock um, and insulated 
insoles, insulated, so that that's where a lot of the heat from your feet, um, you lose body heat from your feet, is through the, um, the, the ground. The ground is cold, the, the sole is just rubber, stuff like that, so it'll conduct heat away from there. So get an insulated, insulated um, insole, good quality socks, and like I said, 200 through 400 milligram, thin milligrams of Thinsulite, whatever you need for your environment. Um, but take care of your feet. Uh, vital quality footwear. That's I, I will put money on footwear, definitely, because you spend a lot of time on your feet. Anybody that's been boots on the ground in a high threat environment, you know, military stuff like that, um, and or backpackers, people that spend a lot of time in the back country, hikers. We know good quality footwear. You have to. If you spend a lot of time on your feet, you got to take care of it. So in SHGF scenario, as preppers. We're going to be outside more. We're going to be spending more time on our feet. So we got to have good high quality footwear. I showed you two right there, actually three different high quality footwears right there. I'll show you one more that I'm wearing right now. These are, as you can see, they are Solomon 4D GTX um, hiking boots. Um, and they are awesome. Solomon, Vasque, Oboes, Merrill. Those are some of the top brands. Selwa. Um, you know, if you want a work boot, like a Georgia boot, good boots. Um, there's a lot of other ones out there also, though. So get high-quality footwear, but take care of it. If you take care of it, it'll last a lot longer. That's why buy quality, but then if you buy quality, you got to be able to take care of it. Um, if you just buy cheapo stuff, it's going to break apart, fall apart. It's not going to take care of you. But if you get good quality and you take care of it, it'll last. Like those Georgia boots will last a lifetime. Um, you know, I, I could pass those on to my grandkids, <laughs> and they could still wear them. Um, a lot of the, maybe some of you out there have had that happen. Maybe you're wearing a pair of boots that your father or grandfather um, wore. But anyway, yeah, so those are just two options. Like I said, there's higher end stuff out there um, that you can get from like mountaineering stores, outdoor stores, um, like REI, whatever it may be, for waterproofing and for, you know, maybe some le better leather maintenance, stuff like that. Like I said, those are just quick things. I picked up at Walmart last night, inexpensive and I just knew that it was time because it's getting colder. Um, we're going to start, you know, it's uh, January, early January, so it's going to start getting into, you know, February is the coldest month here. We usually spend, you know, a couple weeks in the 20s, which I know for some of you guys is like, oh, it's nothing. <laughs> I go outside in shorts and, you know, flip-flops in the 20s. Yeah, I get it. But for us, that's cold. And the way the heat, the way the um, temperature here is here, the, the moisture in the air, stuff like that, 20 is pretty darn cold here. Um, but anyway, get good quality footwear. Make sure you've insulated insole and good quality socks and take care of your footwear this is just an example i wanted to show you guys because it was something that i was doing and i'm like well if i'm doing it maybe other one of people other one of people other people want to hear about it and some little tricks and stuff like that like how to wrap the thing how to you know use enough um this stuff this this, this stuff is cheap put a bunch of it on there you know rub it in really well and i after i rub a little area probably you know like that big i get some more and i rub it in Get some more, rub it in, rub it in really well. Um, if you want to do another coat, sure, do it. Um, but just rub it in really well and just let it sit and take care of itself. It'll help waterproof your boots, keep them more waterproof. Yes, they have Gore-Tex in them also, but this kind of stuff will help the leather itself be more waterproof. It's not going to be 100%. No waterproofing is 100%. It will get through eventually. Um, like Oboes uses, um, they have a little thing here. Yeah, you can see right there, be dry. Their be dry setup inside their boots is actually really good quality. I love Oboe's boots. Um, they make really good quality boots. And these are the Oboe's Bridger 8 inch. So they have the 200 um, milligrams of Thinsulite. The 10 inch boots have 400 milligrams if you want a warmer boot. Um, and they also make a, a Bridger Mid and a Bridger Low if you're interested in these boots. Awesome boots, love them, good tread. Um, best, favorite, all around, go to boot right here. Um, because it's more of a boot, it's not, it's not like a it's not like a hiking shoe like these. I like prefer hiking shoes because I like soft walking. I don't like clodding around. But um, in all situations, these two would do really well. But this one gives more stability and um, gives you some more options as far as what you can and can't do in this boot um, and how it will take care of you and how it will protect you. So anyway, just a video. I hope you guys like it. Like I said, I was doing it, so I thought, well, hey, maybe you guys want to see it. Thank you guys for being here. Prep a little day, please. Prep a little day. This is one of my preps of the day. Um, also fitness, of course. 100 push-up challenge. I hope you guys are still doing it. I'm still doing it. 
Um, I do that pretty much every day though, so that's not really a, a different thing for me. But um, I encourage you guys to do it if you're not, please. Um, also the water challenge. Drink at least a half an ounce of water every day uh, per pound of body weight. Sorry, I weigh 170, uh, about 170. Uh, fluctuates a couple pounds here or there. Um, so I drink, I have a 20, I think it's a 20 ounce um, water bottle. I drink five, six, eight of those a day sometimes. So plenty of water. Um, it's really good for you. I really want you guys to be um, healthy, I want you to be strong, I want you to be fit, and I want you to be able, be able to do the things. Um, we possibly have troubling times coming ahead in our nation. I'm hoping for the best, but I'm preparing for the worst. I love you guys and blessings to you and yours.